Hi, we've been hoping we'd see you again. CJ and I feel the call of adventure. Well, especially CJ. But we're grounded if you don't help us find the things we need for our next trip. What do we need to find first, Edison? Tissue paper is somewhat sheer. You can use it throughout the year. Here's some tissue paper. Item number one, safely stowed. Well done. I'm impressed. <whistles> Tissue paper comes in lots of pretty colors and can be a really nice way to wrap a gift. But in one part of the world, artists have a very different way of using tissue paper, as we'll see. <whistles> okay. Back to work. Wonder what we'll need to find now. What's second on the list, Addison? Candy is tasty and very sweet. It's practically everyone's favorite treat. Edison candy. We made it. Okay, we've got two items aboard now. Nice work. Just one more and you're there. In one part of the world, the same place where artists make things with tissue paper, candy and small toys are stuffed inside colorful handmade objects. And many people consider these objects wonderful examples of folk art. But the funny thing is, everyone wants to break them. Okay, let's see what Edison says we need next. What's the last thing we need to find, Edison? At many parties, the piñata is king. But sometimes it's broken in a single swing. I've got our next item in my backpack. Just press the arrow keys or... We made it! Now just click on the balloon basket and I'll stow our stuff. Well, that's the final item. We've got all the collecting done. And done with excellence and style, I might add. This is a piñata, which is made in Mexico. Piñatas are really popular there at children's parties. The kids are blindfolded and take turns swinging at the piñata with a stick to make the candy and toys fall out. Piñatas have to be made of materials that are easy to break, of course. Local craftspeople shape them into wonderful forms and decorate the outsides with colored tissue paper. Okay. Now that we've taken a good look at all three items, things are beginning to make sense. I bet if you answer a question for me, we can figure out our mystery destination. Ready? What could you use for decorating a piñata? Good, that's right. Now I bet CJ will know where to steer us. Well, from all this, Edison, it's a cinch to figure out where we're going. We're off to Mexico to watch piñatas being made. Our camera is packed, so we'll send you a picture when we get there. My, oh my, what a 
What a magnificent expedition! Thanks so much for making it possible. We sure hope you'll help us again. Remember, if you send us on a second trip, we'll give you a piece of Keisha's carnival rides. What do we need to find first, Edison? Big or small, most rocks are hard. They're often found around the yard. Okay, Edison. Just click on the balloon basket, and I'll stow our stuff. Okay, we can check off item number one. A fine job of collecting indeed. Rocks can be small enough to hold in your hand, but they can also be big enough to use as a house. Of course, they need to have a hollow space inside, like this one has. Rocks that have spaces like this are called caves. And the first humans used to live in them. They kept out the rain and kept out dangerous animals too. Well, it's been nice taking a break, but time to get back to it. What's second on the list, Edison? Sticks of charcoal can make you dirty. You can also use them to make something pretty. Item number two. Beautiful. Only one to go. Burnt pieces of wood are called charcoal, and they make very good drawing tools. You can use them to make sharp outlines, or smear the lines a little for shading. Charcoal has been around ever since people first cooked their dinner over a wood fire, and that's a long time. It's one of the oldest ways we have of making pictures. Well, you know what they say. No rest for the weary. You can be sure Edison has something else for us to find. What's the last thing we need to find, Edison? Stags can run extremely fast. If you raced one, you'd come in last. of something like this. Now I'll have to go and take a shower. I'm as good as useless until I get cleaned off. I think I found a stag. Is it a deer? Yes, it's a male deer. And boy, can it run! Now that we've collected an object, you need to help me carry it over to the balloon and put it in the basket. Ah! We... 
Well, there we go. All three items aboard. Wonderful. Everything we need for the trip. Humans who lived a long time ago often drew pictures of the animals they hunted on the walls of caves. Many of these are stags and reindeer, like you see here. Favorite dinner dishes back then. Buffalo were also popular animals to hunt. And you can see many cave drawings of them, too. Artists back then only had simple drawing tools, like charcoal. Well, I'd say we have a good handle on all three items now. I have a hunch that if you just answer a question, we'll know exactly where CJ and I are headed. What is a drawing tool that was used a long time ago and is still used now? Yes, that's it. Now, let's see if CJ knows where we're going. Well, old buddy, it all adds up now. And get this, we're going underground. That's right, we're going cave exploring. And if we're lucky, we'll see some cave art. I'm sure we'll have a fun picture to send you too. Adventure. There's nothing like it. I was so busy having fun, I didn't even remember to worry. Gosh, are we grateful. You've helped us go on two of the best art expeditions ever. So, here's our little thank you gift. A piece of Keisha's carnival rides. Great! You've won another reward. Which part of the ride would you like to set up now? Okay, now place your piece of the funhouse. Gosh, I really appreciate what you've done here. And now you can go back to CJ and Edison and help them fly off on some more art expeditions. Wow, I'm sure glad to see you again. Our balloon's all filled with air, but we can't take off. Not unless you help us collect the things Edison says we need for our next art expedition. What do we need to find first, Edison? String can be used in so many ways. To tell you them all would take me days. Just click on the balloon basket, and I'll stow our stuff. There we go. Item number one, safely stowed. Well done. I'm impressed. String is one of those everyday things you don't think about much. But when you need it, you really need it. Like when you're trying to tie up a package. Some artists need to use string, too. In fact, it can be the thing that brings their artwork to life. Well, we can't afford to rest on our laurels here. We've still got more collecting to do. What's second on the list, Edison? What I'm needing now is uh, sort of a curtain. Just how big, I'm not really certain. Look, Edison, is this the curtain you need? I think it's made out of velvet. Good. That's exactly what I need. Now that we've collected an object, you need to help me carry it over to the balloon and put it in the basket. We made it. Now just click on the balloon basket and I'll stow our stuff. All right. Two down. One to go. And a first-rate job of collecting that was. Curtains aren't just for covering windows. They're used on theater stages, too. They stay closed until the play begins. 
and then open to show the stage and the actors. Even little puppet theaters like this have curtains, and often they're made of soft velvet. Okay, let's see what Edison says we need next. What's the last thing we need to find, Edison? Puppets perform on very small stages. We've seen them in plays for ages and ages. Done. And done with excellence and style, I might add. Here's an art form that depends on string. Puppeteering. Marionettes are puppets that are controlled by strings. And the puppeteer is hidden from sight. If the puppeteer is really good, you soon don't even notice the strings. But it's the strings that make the arms and legs and heads move. And some puppeteers are so good that you start to believe the puppet characters are real. Okay, these three items you've collected are definitely pointing us towards our mystery destination. If you just take this little quiz, I think we can nail it. What is an artistic use for string? Good, that's right! Now I bet CJ will know where to steer us. Okay, Edison, get set for takeoff. Because now we know all we need to know. We're going to Italy, where Pinocchio was born, and meet some of the best puppeteers of all time. We'll send you a picture when we get there. of a lifetime. We can't thank you enough for helping. You don't suppose you could assist us again, do you? Don't forget, if you send us on two trips, we'll give you a piece of Keisha's carnival rides. What do we need to find first, Edison? I need some glass, but please don't trip. A broken piece could cut your lip. Here's a big tube of glass, Edison. But why do we need it? Oh, you'll see. It will change into something beautiful. Now that we've collected an object, you need to help me carry it over to the balloon. Click on the arrows. Okay, we can check off item number one. A fine job of collecting indeed. Now here's someone who knows what to do with glass. A glass blower. They take tubes of glass, just like the kind CJ found, and heat them in an oven until they're really hot and soft enough to work with. Then they blow the glass into shapes and add different colors of glass as they work. It's amazing to watch the raw piece of glass turn into something beautiful. Well, you know what they say. No rest for the weary. You can be sure Edison has something else for us to find. What's second on the list, Edison? What we need now is a tree of pine, the scent of which is really fine. Great! 
That takes care of item number two. Beautiful. Only one to go. Pine trees like these grow wild in the forest, or they're raised on tree farms. They smell wonderful, but they aren't really Christmas trees until they're decorated, of course. Artists really enjoy the chance to make special things to hang on Christmas trees. Okay, back to work. Wonder what we'll need to find now. What's the last thing we need to find, Edison? Please find me something to hang on a tree. An ornament this pretty is easy to see. On the balloon basket and I'll stow our stuff. Okay, item number three, safely stowed away. Great, we're all loaded up. Some of the prettiest Christmas tree decorations are made out of glass. Glass blowers use the same methods we saw earlier to make these little beauties. Many families collect handmade glass ornaments like this and look forward to taking them out every year at Christmas time and hanging them on the tree. Well, I'd say we have a good handle on all three items now. I have a hunch that if you just answer a question, we'll know exactly where CJ and I are headed. What do people use to make glass objects? Perfect. I'm sure you've helped CJ figure out our mystery destination. <coughs> Well, Edison, there's no question about it. Our course is set. And I hope you have some warm clothes with you. We're going north, to Sweden, where they make some of the most beautiful glass ornaments in the world. And maybe we can even bring some back with us. I'm sure we'll have a fun picture to send you, too. we saw the sounds we heard you wouldn't believe it and guess what i wasn't the least bit scared during the balloon ride and i kept my eyes open the whole time too well now that we're back on dear old mother earth again we want to give you the thanks you so truly deserve cj's right we couldn't have taken these two trips without you we're giving you a piece of quiche's carnival rides as a thank you present is really starting to come together and you've won another piece just choose a yellow piece and click on it okay now place your piece of the funhouse <laughs> gosh i really appreciate what you've done here and now you can go back to cj and edison and help them fly off on some more art expeditions hello welcome back Edison and I have our suitcases all packed. But without your assistance, we aren't going to be able to go anywhere. We need you to help us find the items we have to take on our next adventure. What do we need to find first, Edison? The fluffy animal known as a sheep was always a favorite of Miss Bo Pitt. Okay, here's the sh We made it! Now just click on the balloon basket, and I'll stow our stuff. There we go. Item number one, safely stowed. Well done. I'm impressed. A 
As Miss Bo Peep must have known, the sheep is one of the most useful animals in the world. Thanks to sheep, we have something wonderful to make our clothes and blankets and rugs out of. Wool! Getting wool from a sheep is sort of like giving it a haircut. And its wool grows back again, just like hair. You can see lots of wool in this picture. All right, let's see what else we need to find. What's second on the list, Addison? A ball of yarn might not bounce very much, but when you feel it, it's soft to the touch. Look, Edison, a fuzzy ball. Is this... We... All right, two down, one to go. And a first-rate job of collecting that was. Making sheep's wool into something you can use takes a fair amount of work. The wool has to be cleaned and combed and then it's twisted into long strands of yarn. And often it's dyed in different colors, too. Though some people like the natural colors better. Undyed wool isn't just white. It can also be brown, or gray, or black. Okay, let's see what Edison says we need next. What's the last thing we need to find, Edison? If you can find a Navajo rug, I'd be happy enough to give you a hug. Ah! Okay. Click on the arrows. We made it! Well, there we go. All three items aboard. Wonderful. Everything we need for the trip. The Navajo people weave beautiful rugs from wool. And often the wool comes from their very own sheep. Many of the patterns they weave have been used for generations. But people are always inventing new patterns, too. A Navajo rug is a one-of-a-kind work of art. Okay, these three items you've collected are definitely pointing us towards our mystery destination. If you just take this little quiz, I think we can nail it. Once the wool is cut from the sheep, what do people do with it before they can use it? Yes, that's it. Now, let's see if CJ knows where we're going. <coughs> Well, Edison, there's no guesswork here. I can tell you exactly where we're flying off to. We're headed to New Mexico, and we'll be landing our balloon on a Navajo sheep ranch. We'll be seeing Navajo rug making from start to finish. We'll send you another photograph once we're there. Astounding! A total adventure from beginning to end! We'd love to go somewhere else. And if you'd be kind enough to help, we'll give you a piece of Keisha's carnival rides. What do we need to find first, Edison? What we need first is a limb of wood. Find it for me, if you possibly could. Boy, I was afraid of something like this. Now I'll have to go and take a shower. I'm as good as useless until I get cleaned off. Whee! Whoa! Ah, there's nothing quite as refreshing as a shower.
click on the arrow, we made it! Excellent! We've got our first item aboard! Great teamwork! Wood is a very popular item with sculptors. Sculptors are the artists who make things that aren't flat. Wood is easy to find, and there's usually plenty of it. And it's not expensive either. But turning a piece of wood into a piece of art, well, that takes some doing. Okay, back to work. Wonder what we'll need to find now. What's second on the list, Edison? The tool we need is as sharp as can be. So be extra careful, as I think you'll see. takes care of item number two. Beautiful! Only one to go! When people carve things out of wood, they need tools that really cut well. They can't use butter knives. Tools for wood carving can be big or small, depending on what the carver is making. But no matter what's being made, you can be sure the artist is handling the tool with care. They say, no rest for the weary. You can be sure Edison has something else for us to find. What's the last thing we need to find, Edison? The third thing we need is an old wooden mask. And carving this object was quite a task. Here's a mask. Well, that's the final item. We've got all the collecting done. And done with excellence and style, I might add. Masks are just one of the many things artists can carve out of wood. They also carve images of people and animals, and make practical things like bowls and furniture. And some wood carvers make beautiful abstract works of art. Working with wood takes lots of skill. And the first thing you have to know is what kind of wood to use. Well, I'd say we have a good handle on all three items now. I have a hunch that if you just answer a question, we'll know exactly where CJ and I are headed. Which of these pictures shows someone making furniture out of wood? Good, that's right! Now I bet CJ will know where to steer us. Edison, our destination is a mystery no more. We're going to be flying to Canada. Canada is full of trees. And we'll meet some people there who are great wood carvers. Our camera is packed, so we'll send you a picture when we get there. Say. I agree. I don't know what I was so nervous about. I had a grand time. Gosh, are we grateful. You've helped us go on two of the best art expeditions ever. So, here's our little thank you gift. A piece of Keisha's carnival rides. Good work. You've won another piece of the ride. Just click on a yellow piece you'd like to place next. Okay, now place your piece of the funhouse. Gosh, I really appreciate what you've done here. And now you can go back to CJ and Edison and help them fly off on some more art expeditions. Wow, 
I'm sure glad to see you again. Our balloon's all filled with air, but we can't take off. Not unless you help us collect the things Edison says we need for our next art expedition. What do we need to find first, Edison? Please bring me a test tube, long and gray. But don't dare drop it. It'll ruin your day. I've got the test tube, Edison. I hope there's nothing dangerous in it. Well, you can't be too careful. But the chemicals we need now are for something fun, not something that could hurt you. Now that we've collected an object, you need to help me carry it over to the balloon. We made it. There we go. Item number one, safely stowed. Well done. I'm impressed. Usually, we don't think of chemicals and art objects together. But in modern times, we make art out of new materials. Things that didn't exist before. Just think of all the things we do every day with plastic. How did we ever get by without it? Artists use plastic too. But plastic was created in a chemical lab, and it's something pretty new. Okay, let's see what Edison says we need next. What's second on the list, Edison? Trick-or-treat bags appear in the fall, on a special night that's scariest of all. Just click on the balloon basket, and I'll stow our stuff. Okay, we've got two items aboard now. Nice work. Just one more, and you're there. Holidays like Halloween go way back in history. But we're always adding new things to the way we celebrate them. These days, Lots of the things we have at Halloween time are made out of plastic. Even real-looking spider webs and bats. Some of these things look almost too real. They can give you a very bad scare. Well, it's been nice taking a break, but time to get back to it. What's the last thing we need to find, Edison? Halloween masks can be silly or scary or turn you into a bear most hairy. Here's a Halloween mask, Edison. But I still don't get it. It's not Halloween. So what do we want the mask for? Well, to tell you the truth, it isn't so much the mask we're interested in. You might say it's what's behind the mask. Now that we've collected... We made it! Okay, item number three, safely stowed away. Great, we're all loaded up. Okay, I know it may seem like a stretch to think of Halloween masks and plastic and art all together, but just think, if we didn't have a soft, flexible, moldable material like plastic, we couldn't have all these wonderful masks, right? And who dreams them all up anyway? Whoever it is has to have the wild imagination of an artist. Okay, these three items you've collected are definitely pointing us towards our mystery destination. 
if you just take this little quiz, I think we can nail it. Where does the material to make modern Halloween masks come from? Oh, gosh, that's not the right... Perfect. I'm sure you've helped CJ figure out our mystery destination. Edison, I can see our destination as clearly as a full moon on Halloween. Get set for a spooky time, because we're going to visit the secret hideaway of some Halloween mask makers. We'll send you a picture when we get there. journey of a lifetime. We can't thank you enough for helping. You don't suppose you could assist us again, do you? Don't forget, if you send us on two trips, we'll give you a piece of Keisha's carnival rides. What do we need to find first, Edison? Cement is mixed inside this truck. Picking it up will take some luck. Here's a cement truck, Edison. But what do we need a truck for? It's not really the truck we need. It's what's inside of it. Now that we've collected an object, you need to help me carry it over to the balloon and put it in the basket. We made it! Okay, we can check off item number one. A fine job of collecting indeed. Cement is usually used to make things like this sidewalk, or for making walls. But it can also be used to hold things in place, which makes it perfect for a certain kind of art. Well, we can't afford to rest on our laurels here. We've still got more collecting to do. What's second on the list, Edison? Now we need an old flower pot. This one's broken and easy to spot. Okay, Edison. We Great! That takes care of item number two. Beautiful! Only one to go. Look at this broken cup. Some people might think there's nothing you can do with these pieces, and they toss them out. But, there's a certain kind of artist who thinks things like this are wonderful. Alright, let's see what else we need to find. What's the last thing we need to find, Edison? A leopard is a big and spotted cat. But, I wouldn't go up and give it a pat. Here's a spotted cat, Edison. Is this the leopard? Yes, and he's also an artist's model. Now that we've collected an object, you need to help me carry it over to the balloon and put it in the basket. We... Well, that's the final item. We've got all the collecting done. And done with excellence and style, I might add. of artwork is called a mosaic. Mosaics are made of little pieces of glass or tile or other small objects, even broken pieces of a flower pot or cup, and they're all held together with cement. Now you can see why cement can be important for making art. People have been making mosaics for a long time. This leopard mosaic is about a thousand years old. Okay, now that we've taken a good look at all three items, things are beginning to make sense. I bet if you answer a question for me, we can figure out our mystery destination. Ready? What item could an artist use that most people might throw away? Good 
good. That's right. Now I bet CJ will know where to steer us. No question, Edison. I know exactly where we're going. To Italy, where they've been making mosaics for thousands of years. Maybe we'll even get to make one. Our camera is packed, so we'll send you a picture when we get there. Oh, the joy of adventure. There's nothing like it. I was so busy having fun, I didn't even remember to worry. Well, now that we're back on dear old Mother Earth again, we want to give you the thanks you so truly deserve. CJ's right. We couldn't have taken these two trips without you. We're giving you a piece of Keisha's carnival rides as a thank you present. Great! You've won another reward. Which part of the ride would you like to set up now? Okay, now place your piece of the funhouse. Gosh, I really appreciate what you've done here. And now you can go back to CJ and Edison and help them fly off on some more art expeditions. Hello, welcome back. Edison and I have our suitcases all packed. But without your assistance, we aren't going to be able to go anywhere. We need you to help us find the items we have to take on our next adventure. What do we need to find first, Edison? Reeds grow by water and are green and tall. But mostly they don't look too special at all. Are these reeds, Edison? They just look like pieces of grass. Yes, good, those are reeds. Just what we need, CJ. Now that we've collected an object, you need to help me. We made it! Now just click on the balloon basket and I'll stow our stuff. Excellent! We've got our first item aboard. Great teamwork! Reeds are a very common plant. They grow almost any place there's lots of water. Thousands of years ago, people discovered they could be very handy for making things. And people are still making things from reeds today. It's been nice taking a break, but time to get back to it. What's second on the list, Edison? Spring is when birds like to build their nests, because that's the time the weather is best. Hey, look, a bird's nest. But are we going on a nature walk or an art expedition? Oh, never fear, CJ. You'll still be getting your art adventure. Now that we've collected an object, you need to help me carry it over to the balloon and put it in the basket. We made it! Now just click on the balloon basket and I'll stow our stuff. All right. Two down, one to go. And a first-rate job of collecting that was. Long ago, someone must have looked at a bird's nest like this and had an idea. This person might have thought, gee, I could take twigs or grass and make something just like that. Maybe something to hold the berries we pick to eat, or pieces of wood for fire. That idea could have been the start of something wonderful. Well, we can't afford to rest on our laurels here. We've still got more collecting to do. What's the last thing we need to find, Edison? Baskets are light and easy to hold. 
and sometimes their patterns are very bold. Item number three, safely stowed away. Great. We're all loaded up. Baskets can be very beautiful. Native Americans, for example, weave them into handsome patterns and decorate them with beads and feathers. Baskets can be made out of many things, including the reeds we were looking at. Maybe we learned basket making from the birds, and maybe we didn't. But there's no question they're one of the most practical items human beings can make. Okay, these three items you've collected are definitely pointing us towards our mystery destination. If you just take this little quiz, I think we can nail it. Which of these pictures shows something people use to make baskets and other useful things? No, it isn't that one. Oh, gosh. That's not... Yes, that's it. Now, let's see if CJ knows where we're going. Edison, my friend, you were right. We aren't going on a nature walk. It all makes sense now. We're flying off to the American Southwest to spend some time with Native American basket makers. We'll send you a picture when we get there. from beginning to end. We'd love to go somewhere else. And if you'd be kind enough to help, we'll give you a piece of Keisha's carnival rides. Hey, good job. You did so well, we're now at level two. Things get a little harder now. We have to solve Edison's riddles so we know what to pick up. And if I get covered in paint, you have to move me to the shower before it changes places. But I know you can do it. What do we need to find first, Edison? This holds a liquid you love to drink. You might have empty ones under your sink. I've got an empty soda bottle here, Edison. Where's the recycling bin? Oh no, you'd be surprised what you can do with things you might think of as garbage. Now that we... we go. Item number one, safely stowed. Well done. I'm impressed. Here's an artwork someone made using something most people toss away. The tops of soda bottles. In fact, there's a whole type of art called found art, which is created from odds and ends that artists have found lying around. Okay, back to work. Wonder what we'll need to find now. What's second on the list, Edison? Second is something people chew and chew. But if they swallow it, they might turn blue. Item number two. Beautiful. Only one to go. Gum wrappers are another item that people have used to make artwork, like these bracelets. All kinds of paper, like shiny paper, tissue paper, and cardboard, can be used to create things. Sometimes several kinds of paper are put together in a type of artwork called a collage which is made up of different textures and colors of paper. Well, you 
You know what they say, no rest for the weary. You can be sure Edison has something else for us to find. What's the last thing we need to find, Edison? This can be red or can line a bird cage. All the big stories are on the front page. and style, I might add. This bag is woven out of newspapers. Amazing, huh? People often don't realize that many things they throw in the trash can be turned into something that's useful, or pretty, or both. What may seem like garbage to most people may be inspiring to an artist. Okay, now that we've taken a good look at all three items, things are beginning to make sense. I bet if you answer a question for me, we can figure out our mystery destination. Ready? Which of these was made from gum wrappers? Good, that's right! Now I bet CJ will know where to steer us. Well, Edison, it all adds up. We're going to be taking a trip to a garbage recycling plant to learn what we can create out of stuff people toss out. Our camera is packed, so we'll send you a picture when we get there. But I wasn't the least bit scared during the balloon ride. And I kept my eyes open the whole time, too. Gosh, are we grateful. You've helped us go on two of the best art expeditions ever. So, here's our little thank you gift. A piece of Keisha's carnival rides. Good work. You've won another piece of the ride. Just click on a yellow piece you'd like to place next. Okay, now place your piece of the funhouse. Gosh, I really appreciate what you've done here. And now you can go back to CJ and Edison and help them fly off on some more art expeditions. Hi, we've been hoping we'd see you again. CJ and I feel the call of adventure. Well, especially CJ. But we're grounded if you don't help us find the things we need for our next trip. What do we need to find first, Edison? This flower is yellow and blooms in the spring. After the snow melts and birds start to sing. I found a yellow flop. Item aboard! Great teamwork! You can tell when spring is here because daffodils and other spring flowers start to bloom. People all over the world are happy when they know that winter is finally ending and that things are coming back to life again. There are many holidays that celebrate this change in the seasons, such as Easter and Passover. Artists and craftsmen often make special objects for these celebrations. Well, it's been nice taking a break, but time to get back to it. What's second on the list, Edison? His ears are long and he likes to hop. And you can often find him in a candy shop. Okay, we've got two items aboard now. Nice work! 
Just one more and you're there. In the United States and other countries, the Easter Bunny is the character who symbolizes spring. Lots of families put together beautiful Easter baskets that include chocolate rabbits, hand-colored eggs, and candy. Spring is a time when people use certain colors, too, especially pastels like pale blue and pink and... Okay, let's see what Edison says we need next. What's the last thing we need to find, Edison? You can eat them scrambled or poached or fried. You may even request them sunny side. Look what I found. Well, there we go. All three items aboard. Wonderful. Everything we need for the trip. Lots of people know how to color Easter eggs, but this egg goes way, way beyond what most of us can do. It's a craft practiced in the Ukraine, which is in Eastern Europe, and it's called a Pysansky egg. Artists use wax and fine tools to make all the little designs on the egg. Each picture usually means something. A deer, for instance, stands for wealth and financial success. Well, I'd say we have a good handle on all three items now. I have a hunch that if you just answer a question, we'll know exactly where CJ and I are headed. Which picture shows a Pysansky egg from the Ukraine? No, but isn't that one perfect? I'm sure you've helped CJ figure out our mystery destination. I have to say, Edison, that it's pretty easy now to see where we're headed. And it's not a chicken farm. We're going to the Ukraine to see how they make their amazing eggs. We'll send you another photograph once we're there. My oh my, what a magnificent expedition! Thanks so much for making it possible. We sure hope you'll help us again. Remember, if you send us on a second trip, we'll give you a piece of Keisha's carnival rides. What do we need to find first, Edison? You play this instrument with sticks or your hand. It can be found in most any band. safely stowed. Well done. I'm impressed. Drums are one of the oldest musical instruments on earth. Some people are still making them by hand using hollowed out wood or gourds. And sometimes they're decorated with beautiful carvings. In some parts of the world, drums play an important part in religious ceremonies. Well, we can't afford to rest on our laurels here. We've still got more collecting to do. What's second on the list, Edison? On bright colored wings, this insect flies high. What a pretty sight against the blue sky. care of item number two. Beautiful! Only one to go! Do you know much about butterflies? Do you know that they start out their lives as caterpillars? But at a certain point, they make a cocoon 
stay inside it a while, and when they come out, they've changed into a butterfly. Artists really like the idea of how the wormy-looking caterpillar changes into a beautiful winged creature. That's why you find so many images of butterflies in artwork. Okay, let's see what Edison says we need next. What's the last thing we need to find, Edison? When you wear this, your face disappears. Although, it might not cover your ears. I bet this is what you're looking for. It's a mask. Good. We made... Well, that's the final item. We've got all the collecting done. And done with excellence and style, I might add. In Africa, masks usually have a serious role. And often, they were worn during religious ceremonies. Drums and costumes are often part of these ceremonies, too. In Africa, masks always have a symbolic meaning. This mask is from West Africa. Do you see something familiar around the eyes? Yes, it's a butterfly. Okay, now that we've taken a good look at all three items, things are beginning to make sense. I bet if you answer a question for me, we can figure out our mystery destination. Ready? Which of these shows a musical instrument? Yes, that's it. Now, let's see if CJ knows where we're going. Edison, our journey's all laid out for us now. We're ballooning off to West Africa to see masks and drums. We'll send you a picture when we get there. Joy of adventure! There's nothing like it. I was so busy having fun, I didn't even remember to worry. Well, thanks to you, we've had two amazing adventures. And you've just won a piece of Keisha's carnival rides. Wow, you're on the final piece. Let's go set it up. Okay, now place your piece of the funhouse. Wow, look! Collage Funhouse is finished! Let's go see what's inside it! We're going to make a wonderful collage Go empty out your attic and garage Bring buttons and bells and pasta shells And sips and scraps and bottle caps And nuts and noodles and daddles and doodles And put them all together in a montage Let's cut up your mom's old magazine And make the prettiest pattern you've ever seen Or clip some stars and racing cars And pens and phones and French cologne And strudels and steeples and poodles and people And stick them all together in a crazy scene Start out with some paper and some paste And please don't let anything go to waste Use ropes and rocks and ropes and rubber bands and collar chests and belts and feathers and laces and leathers and put them all together with great taste. <sighs> now that was a fabulous fun house. Thanks for building it. Gosh, I really appreciate what you've done here. And now you can go back to CJ and Edison and help them fly off on some more art expeditions. 
Hello, welcome back. Edison and I have our suitcases all packed. Hey, Keisha! Your studio awaits you! Oh, so nice to see you. Click the desk to enter. shape or line by holding down the mouse button and dragging until the shape or line is the right size. We'll use the last painting or drawing tool you selected. The paint and everything you paint now will stay within the closed lines and shapes. This is where you can choose a ready-made color or mix a color of your own in the paint mixing area. Clear the workspace before you can put the template in it. If you want to save your artwork and put it in your... Choose a ready-made color or mix a color of your own in the paint. This, this is where you can choose a ready-made color or mix a color of your own in the paint mixing area. When you Where you can choose a ready-made color or mix a color of your own in the paint. If you want 
Congratulations! You finished a group of wonderful artworks. So here's something you richly deserve. A reward for Keisha's carnival ride. Look, only two rides left. Go ahead and pick the one you'd like to work on now, and then click on it. Okay, now that you've chosen the ride, go ahead and pick which piece we should start with. Now you can place your piece of the roller coaster. Yippee! Gee, thanks for helping me. And now you can go back to your studio with Eleanor and create some more artwork. Alright, here we are. Red. Hi, Rob. Black. This, this, this. Turn the stamp. Turn, turn the stamp. Where you can choose a ready-made color or mix a color of your own in the paint mixing area. When you've made a color you like, click on the check mark. If you want to get rid of a color you've mixed, click on the sponge. Paint mix paint mixing. shape or line by holding down the mouse button and dragging until the shape or line is the right size. Everything you paint now will stay within the closed lines and shapes. Click. Octagon. Draw your shape. Everything you paint now will stay within the closed lines and shapes. White. But or undo your er collapse. To add text to your artwork, click the spot where you want it to go, and then type in the text. Green. This is where you can choose a ready-made color or mix a color of your own in the paint mixing area. When you've made a color you like,
can choose a ready-made color or mix a color. This check. Turn the stamp. This is where you can choose a ready-made color or mix a color of your own in the paint mixing area. If you want Okay, time. You started your puppet with the body, so I'll help you place the rest of the pieces. Here are the legs you chose. Here you go. Pup puppet accessory. Puppet accessory. another tool set, you can use this puppet in other kinds of artwork you make. But once you switch, I can't automatically place your puppet pieces anymore. Are you sure you want to... and move the slider up and down to see colored chalk. What oil paint? This window. This is where you can choose a ready-made color or mix a color of your own in the paint mixing area. When you've made a color you like, click on the check mark. Click and move the slider up and down Click and move the slider up and down to see all of your puppets. shows you you can't choose a color because charcoal only comes in black try colored chalk instead this window this is where you can choose a ready-made color or mix a color working hard. You've made another group of amazing artworks. So here's a well-earned reward for you for Keisha's Carnival Rides. Great! You've won another reward. Which part of the ride would you like to set up now? Sorry, but you need to pick one of the highlighted pieces. Now you can place your piece of the roller coaster. Yay! Gee, thanks for helping me. And now, you can go back to your studio with Eleanor, and create some more artwork. So... Colored pencil. Okay, time... Click... You started your puppet with the body, so I'll help... you chose. Here you go! Pop. Click. Great! You've chosen a head! 
click to see clip Another tool set? You can use this puppet in other kinds of artwork you make. But once you switch, I can't automatically place your puppet pieces anymore. Are you sure you want to change to another tool? Bucket. Spray colored chalk. What oil? Texture. window ship Turn the stamp. Turn the stamp. Turn the stamp. Button. This is where you can choose a ready-made color or mix a color of your own. Bucket. This would blue. Yellow.
texture menu. But click. But. Turn the turn the stamp. Turn the stamp. Turn the stamp. Turn this turn the stamp. Pattern next. Turn the stamp. Pattern. Turn the stamp. This wild orange red paper strip bucket This window This is where you can choose a ready-made color or mix a color of your own in the paint mixing area. When you've made a color you like, click on the check mark. If you want to get rid of a color you've mixed, click on the sponge. Paint mix. Oh. Check oil. another group of artworks. So I've got something special here for you. A reward for Keisha's carnival rides. This ride is really starting to come together. And you've won another piece. Just choose a yellow piece and click on it. Now you can place your piece of the roller Yahoo! Gee, thanks for helping me. And now you can go back to your studio with Eleanor and create some more artwork. Okay, ready to get going again? Just click on... This butterfly is missing his other half. Draw a matching wing on him, and then color in your picture. Sponge. Paint mixing area. 
Choose a ready-made color or mix a color of your own in the paint mixing area. When you've made a color you like, but this is where you can choose a ready-made color or mix a color of your own in the paint mixing area. White. This is where you can choose a ready-made color or mix a color of your own in White. This is where you can choose a ready-made color or mix a color of your own in it. What? This is where you can choose a ready-made color or mix a color of your own in the paint. This window shows what? This is where you can choose a ready-made color or mix a color of your own. More colors and color mix. This is where you can choose a ready-made color or mix a color of your own in the paint. Save your artwork and put it in your portfolio? Click yes. I'll give it a file name. Or you can type in a file name. This is your personal art portfolio. personal art portfolio. You can look through the book. Click here to close the book. Click, click. Exit. Thanks for stopping in. See you later. If you'd like to frame one of your completed... To choose an artwork for this frame, choose one of the artworks in your personal book. Display. Dis yes, I like it. To choose an artwork for this frame, choose one of the artworks in your personal book. Are you sure you want to draw that picture? Dis oh yes, there's nothing. Gosh, I'm really glad you spent time here in the art studio tent. I hope you come back soon. Hey, Keisha, what did the mother chimpanzee say to her children when she gave them a coloring book and crayons? I don't have a clue, Casey. What did she say? Have fun, kids, but don't paint outside the lions. <laughs> Hop on in for some fun. Hi there! Glad you hopped in again! Change levels. This is where you... Okay, are you sure you... Welcome back to my invention tent. Here's a challenge for you. See if you can match this one. Sm sharp eyes! That's the this piece. You got it! 
small this piece needs to be Meet this piece. Click on one of the Meet good this piece needs to be You got it! Meet move this piece needs to be Me try it. Nice for this piece needs to be red Time to peek this piece needs to be blue two more of my inventions and you'll get a reward. Okay, you're doing great. Here's a challenge for you. See if you can match this one. Me well done. This piece. You medium this piece needs to be. More good. This piece needs to be. Let's good job. This night. Oh, move it. This piece need. Lord, Lord, you got it. That's where it fits. Congrats! A perfect copy. That's number two. One more, and you'll be a winner. Hey, you're on a winning streak. So, Lord Sharp Eyes, this piece needs to be. That's the correct cup. Small, no, this piece needs. Small, good job. This, no, this piece needs to be. Left, left, sharp eyes. Right, Lord. Lord, well done! Curve! Wow, that's your third perfect match! Congrats! You get to choose a carnival ride piece for Keisha! Well done! Now go to Keisha's rides and choose the ride piece you'd like to place! Good work! You've won another piece of the... Sorry! Now you can place... Yippee! Thanks for your help. Now you can go back to Hopsalot's tent and put some more inventions together. Hey, happy to see you again. So, ready to try another match? Good luck! Meaty, nice work! This... Not... The pieces to the pieces. Try a little hot freight, not try again. Lord, this piece needs to be red. Small, this piece needs to be blue. Lord, nice work. This that small, this piece needs to be medium. This piece needs left spiral. Let's purr. Lord. Well, all right. You figured the whole thing out. Just two more like that, and you'll win a piece of Keisha's carnival rides. Okay, you're doing great. So, ready to... Meaty, that's it. This... That's the... Medium rectangle. Medium. This piece needs to. Meet. This piece needs to be. Medium. Nice work. This piece needs to be. You. Small. This piece needs. Small. This piece needs. You. Meet. Good. This. Medium. This piece needs. Small P. Just small. Curve. Sharp eyes. That's the right place, all right. Congrats. A perfect copy. That's number two. One more, 
and you'll be a winner. Hey, you're on a winning streak. This game could do it for you. Okay, here's a new invention for you to create. Medium sir. Hey, just this piece needs to be nice. Small this piece needs to be Need good job this Lit this piece Nice cut Arm this piece needs Thorns good go on this That's Small this piece
Now you can place your piece of the roller coaster. Yahoo! Thanks for your help. Now you can go back to Hopsalat's tent and put some more inventions together. Hey! Ha. Change levels. This is where you... Okay. Are you sure you want to change levels? Hi there! Glad you hopped in again! So you want to move up to level 3? Alright then! Now when you paint an invention piece, you're going to get to mix the colors too! Here's where you'll find the secret paint mixing formulas. Well, I guess they aren't secret. If you need a large amount of color, you'll see a large beaker. And if you need a small amount of color, you'll see a small beaker. All the paint you need are right here. Large beakers, small beakers for tertiary colors, and black and white for shades and tints. Here's a challenge for you. See if you... Medium... Nice work! You figured out right where to put it. This piece needs to be colored with an orange tint. Nice work! You're all set! Click on the... You got it! Small... Oops! Try a trial... Try again... Medium... This piece needs... Excellent! Now it's time to paint! Medium... This piece needs to... Good! There we go! Just pick... Small you got this piece. Good job. Here we go. Just nice color. The piece you the piece you just moved doesn't need painting. Small this piece needs. Nice. You're all set. Click on the button. Look good. Go on. Large. Media the piece move it. Nice work. This excellent. You're all set. Click up. Sorry. Media afraid not. This piece needs. Good job. Now it's time to paint. Small up. Hey. Jump. Small ah. Try again. Curve. That's it. Small. Small. Good. Go on. Well, all right! You figured the whole thing out! Just two more like that, and you'll win a piece of Keisha's Carnival Rides! <laughs> okay, you're doing great! So, ready to try another match? Good luck! <laughs> Media perfect! That's just the right... This piece needs to be colored with... Yeah. Nice work! There we go! Just pick up... You! Small rectangle... Small rec... This piece needs to be... Excellent! Now it's time to paint! Small... Good! This piece needs to... Sorry! Sorry! Good! You're all set! Click up. Nice! Medium! This piece needs to be... Nice! There we go! Just... Look perfect! That small... Move it more! This piece needs to be colored... Good job! There we go! Just pick... Nice! Soft. Good, there we go. Just small jet. Well done. Small curve. That's it. Curve. Short. Hey. Small freight not. Trial. Small ah. Uh, no. Good job. That's right where it goes. Congrats! A perfect copy! 
That's number two. One more, and you'll be a winner. Hey, you're on a winning streak. This game could do it for you. Here's a challenge for you. Need goo. This piece. Excellent. Now it's time to paint. Need this. Sorry. You. Excellent. You're all set. Clip. Sharp. This piece. You got it. Media. This. Nice. You're all set. Clip. Sorry. Medium. No. This piece needs to. Nice. There we go. Just. No. Small. Move it. Nice. This. Medium. You've got freight. This piece needs. So. There we go. Tiny trot pieces to this piece needs to be excellent. There we go. Just tiny t hey, this piece needs to be nice. Whoop, you're all set. Click on small try up. This piece needs to be colored with nice. Now it's time to paint small. Small. Good. Go on. Short. You. Afraid not. Afraid. Long. No. Long line. Well done. Whoa. Amazing. Another perfect copy. That's three times now. And that means you've earned a piece of a carnival ride. <laughs> Terrific! You've earned another piece of Keisha's ride. But come right back for more fun, okay? This ride is really starting to come together. And you want another piece. Just choose a yellow piece and click on it. Sorry, you need to pick one. Sorry. Now you can place your piece of the roller coaster. Yippee! Thanks for your help. Now you can go back to Hotzalat's tent and put some more inventions together. <laughs>